Welcome to the channel everybody, today I have this 2018 I believe, this is 2018 I'm not sure Oh, uh, KW, well that is not a year, oh yeah right here mm, 2019, um, after the uh, uh, June is 2019 anyway it has a Cummins engine and the problem that we're having is then uh, is having blow by so this is a very common problem uh, this is a okay okay it's a very common problem with Cummins ISX um, in this case is this it's not ISX, it's a X15, which is the newest version of the ISS, the, uh, the X15, but still uses the same platform engine, nothing varies that much, still the same. So, which means then the problems are still kind of the same as they were before, because the basic engine block and components are the same. Components like uh, fuel pump, injectors, and uh, EGR coolers and stuff like that have, they have been upgraded and they're different, completely different but still we have the basic engine so let's start this engine and check the mileage on this truck alright so it has 700,000 miles almost 800,000 and we're gonna check the problem Everything fine, the truck has no problems, it idles with no problem, um, it doesn't have major uh, warnings um, on the dashboard, but it has the problem then it's consuming fuel, I mean oil, and it is um, having a lot of blow by. I'm just waiting, oh yeah, the, the fan went off, so I was waiting for that, so I don't get a lot of blow uh, air on my face. So, the engine runs fine, the yeah, eye does normally, but uh, here, see, that's a lot of pressure. This is counting with the engine uh, not being hot. So the engine is full still, and uh, we have a lot of low wire already. The harder it gets, the more pressure it releases. It, it pushes the car, see? Yeah, see? <clears throat> so, the problem is then uh, we have a, a damaged engine. Usually the engine causes this problem, but uh, there is one thing that you have to check before pulling a fold in the engine, um, and that is the crankcase filter. This right here is the crankcase filter. It has to be replaced. In this case, this is a new crankcase filter. It was replaced. Um, on the seek to uh, solve this problem but uh, the problem continues we have pressure still which means then yeah of course we have a damaged engine but remember if you have blow by here and you have blow by on the breather pipe which is this one then goes all the way down freeze replace this filter right here on the Cummins X15 the ISX 15 has a bigger crankcase filter, but it's still in the same position. But freeze, uh, check this filter. This will be the one that will determine a problem um, in the engine internally or a problem right here. So just do that before you do any major uh, work on your engine. And that can save you a lot of money. But anyway, uh, uh, 
so what is the solution to this problem that is something that we are going to see right now uh well a uh, solution to this problem is nothing uh out of this world is something that we know and that is engine overhauled what is the cause of fixing that problem that is something that we need to find out well uh the cost of repairing a Cummins X15 engine varies depending on from where you get the parts. If you get the parts from the, um, a, the let's say the dealer, uh, those parts are going to be around like seven thousand, eight thousand dollars, uh, maybe more sometimes because these parts vary depending on the. Uh, on the uh, on, on where you get them, the dealer, the tax, and all that. But usually, uh, I see the overhaul kits for this engine going from uh, uh, seven thousand, eight thousand dollars, all the way to uh, eleven thousand, twelve thousand dollars. So. That is not counting the head, the cylinder head, which is this top area over here. So the cylinder head is going to be another, uh, 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 let's say another $6,000, depending where you get the parts to. $5,000 will be the average, but that will give you a total just in parts uh, between uh, 12,000 to all the way to 16,000 depending and plus labor so you're talking about a repair that is going to cost between 20,000 to 25,000 well but that also depends right that's the reason why everything depends if you go after market if you don't go a OEM this everything is going to be cheaper probably half, pr half price so everything varies so um it's something to keep on mind with this when, whenever you are doing this kind of repair then you have the option of going aftermarket or going OEM I will definitely say the OEM route is always the best but um, when you talk about a budget, a tight budget the OEM route isn't the best because it's pretty expensive so I assume then the best route will be the aftermarket but you have to decide which aftermarket brand you have to use because there are many but they're not equal some of them are better and some of them are okay and some of them are very bad you know so you there, there there is something that you have to do on your own to decide which aftermarket product you want to use for your engine to get the best out of this uh, uh investment that you want to do which is very expensive to repair these coming x15 engines but uh Still, uh, it is something that uh, is fixable, but it's pretty expensive to do. So, uh, in resume, if you have a Cummins X15, um, and doesn't matter what year you have, and if you are experiencing uh, blow-by every time you have the engine running, you remove the cap, and you feel the pressure blowing away the cap, uh, that is something then you have to pay attention, right? So. Uh, nothing to worry at the beginning. I will say the first thing you have to do is always come to the filter right here Check the filter replace it and if you replace the filter and the pressure right here goes away Good you solve your problem. That is the reason why you had that problem but if you replace the filter and the pressure continues here just as it was before replacing the filter um, yeah, you have a problem with the uh, uh, with the engine, internal engine. So what goes what goes wrong with the engine? Well, the pistons and the cylinder liner, uh, the rings in this case, the piston rings start you know wearing out with the cylinder liner, and that is where these problems start to happen. Um, the pressure starts to be released to the crankcase system, which is the bottom end of the engine, and the pressure has nowhere to escape except from uh, for the uh, pipe then comes from the uh, from the crankcase filter and this this one comes from the top which is this one right here this pipe so all the crankcase pressure goes all the way to the top and then uh, the other pressure gets released from any other area which is 
the dipstick and the uh, cap and if the pressure is not released and uh, is not getting released uh, and the pressure keeps on building up the pressure is going to be released uh, from the gaskets you want to see a lot of oil leaking from gaskets uh, because the pressure is releasing especially when your problem is pretty advanced in this case the problem is not that serious it's serious but it's not super serious and that's the reason why the engine still runs and everything but if you continue on driving your engine like this it's going to go bad so i think that is very important for you to pay attention to this problem the sooner the better because uh, this will prevent many issues in this case because the engine we don't have any other problem with this engine just the pressure just rebuilding the engine just doing the overhaul kit and the cylinder head will fix this problem completely because we don't have leaks anywhere and, and all that but when we have leaks in the front and the rear we have to fix all that when we're doing the overhaul and that's going to be super expensive uh, and that's you know a lot of time the trucks have to be sitting and uh, and you know like, it's something that we don't want to talk about it, it, especially with the amount of money we have to spend and the amount of time this truck has to be just wasting time basically you're getting repair i mean it's not wasting time because you're getting repair but still like you're not making any money out of it so it's going to be a hard one um but still i uh, um so this is something to take notes if you have a kw Peterbilt, International, Volvo, Winster Star, uh, Mac, or even a Freightliner with an X15 engine, or even the IS X15, and you're getting blow pressure, blow by pressure, and that pressure is strong enough to push the car, the, the old cap away. Um, you better take care of that. And as I say, check the crankcase filter. And if the crankcase filter doesn't feel, fix that, you have to save some money to fix your engine. And that uh, is the final verdict on this. So as you can see, this engine, does, this truck doesn't have that many miles and it's already have that, uh, uh, that problem. So it can happen to any truck at any time. Well, uh, I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions about this specific problem, uh, just comment below. And uh, yeah, I would be happy uh, to get an answer if I have the time, but if I don't have the time, please understand that I have other things to do. And if you are watching this video and you have the answer for those questions and someone else is asking, please, you can go ahead and answer those questions too. So uh, uh, I hope you like this video. So I hope uh, to see you next time on more videos than I'm doing every day. So thank you for watching.